Hi, this is Alfauzi Anihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss in our today's video is difference between series and sequences. The terms series and sequence are often used interchangeably in common and non-formal practice. In this video, we are going to discuss deeply the differences between both. However, these terms are very distinct from each other with respect to mathematical and scientific viewpoints. Foremost, when one talks about a sequence, it simply means a list or file of numbers or terms. So, the order of the numbers in the list is of particular importance and it must be logical too. Sequence and series is one of the important topics in mathematics. Though many students tend to get confused between the two, these two can be easily differentiated. Yes, sequence and series can be differentiated in which the order of the sequence always matter in the sequence but it is not the case with series. Sequence and series are the two important topics which deal with the listing of elements. It is used in the recognition of patterns. For example, you can see a listing of elements in identifying the pattern of prime numbers and solving puzzles and so on. Also, series play an important role in the differential equations and in the analysis process also. So, in this video, let us discuss the key difference between the sequence and series in detail. Okay, before that, we will see the brief definition of the series and sequences. Here we are going to start with series. Series is defined as the sum of the sequence where the order of the element does not matter. What does that mean? It means that the series is defined as the list of numbers with the addition symbol in between. The series can be classified as finite series as well as infinite series. It depends on the type of the sequence where it, whether it is finite or infinite. Also, please note that the finite series is a series where the list of numbers has an ending, whereas infinite series is never ending. By the name itself, we can understand. If you want more information about finite series and infinite series, you can refer a previous video. Okay. Let us also look at the different types of series. We have some four or five types of series which are very important. First one is geometric series harmonic series, power series, alternating series, exponent series. Alternating series, power series and exponent series are somewhat higher level. We can also discuss about these three topics in a separate video. If you would like to know more about geometric series and harmonic series, you can refer our previous videos. So this is the basic definition and types of series. Now let us see what is sequence. The sequence is defined as the list of numbers which are arranged in a specific pattern. Here order of the element matters. In series order of the element does not matter. This is the main important difference between series and sequence. Each number in the sequence is considered as a term. For example, here is a sequence 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. The three dots at the end of the sequence represents that the pattern will continue further. And the first term is 2, 4 is the second term, 6 is the third term and so on. Each term in the sequence can have a common difference and the pattern will continue with the common difference. So in this example, common difference is 2. Am I right? You can just subtract the second term from the first term. Okay, so this is the basic definition of a sequence. Now let us see what are the types, how the sequence can be classified. So these are the four important types of sequences. Let me list out. Sequences can be classified into different types such as arithmetic sequence, geometric sequence, harmonic sequence, Fibonacci sequence. We have separate videos on these topics. You can, if you want to know more about these types, you can search out previous videos. For example, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is a sequence of numbers 6 to 10 in ascending order. The sequence, then second one, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 is another file that is arranged in descending order. There are other more complicated sequences that resemble some kind of pattern like this. 7, 6, 9, 8, 11, 10. Because there is a pattern in a sequence, one can readily guess the nth term. 
For example, please consider the sequence 1, 1 half, 1 third, 1 fourth, 1 fifth and so on. If you are asked what is the sixth 1 over n, the term is, you can say that it is expected to be 1 over 6. The same pattern continues if you are asked for the one of the millionth nth term. Am I right? So what would be the millionth nth term? It would be. Hope you are getting this concept. This also shows that sequences have behaviors. So in this example of the sequence of 1 to 1 fifth, the behavior of the sequence is moving closer to the zero value. However, as there will be no negative value or any number lesser than zero in the sequence. The limit or end of the sequence, no matter how long it will become, it is assumed to be zero. But by contrast, a series is just adding up or summing a group of numbers. That is 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10. I am just using the same example that I used in the sequence. Thus, a series has a sequence bearing terms. I mean variables or constants that were added. So in a series, the order of the appearance of each term is also important, but not all the time as opposed to a sequence. This is because a few series can have terms without a particular order or pattern, but will it will still add up together. So these are termed as an absolutely convergent series. We can discuss this term absolutely convergent series in a separate video. However, there are also some series that result in a change in the sum of the given, sum given a different type of order in the terms. Let us sum up the differences between the two terms series and sequence in short. Sum of the terms in the sequence is not a concern, but sum of the terms in a series is of utmost concern. Order or pattern of the term in a sequence is always important. Same way in series, order or the pattern of terms in a series is sometimes important, not all the time. Sequence is nothing but listing of numbers or terms, but series is the summation of the terms. Sequence relates to the organization of the terms in a particular order, that is related terms follow each other. And series is the summation of the elements of the sequence. Series can also be classified as finite and infinite series. So you can uh, give the classification like this. In sequence, ordering of the element is most important. But in series, order of the element does not matter. Now uh, let's uh, talk about elements. Elements in the sequence. The elements in the sequence follow a specific pattern. Series is nothing but the sum of the elements in the sequence. Okay. Okay, now let me give you the general form. Here is the general form of the sequence and this is the general form of the series. Please have a closer look. We will be using summation sign here because we will have plus sign in between the terms in series. Okay. Unending sequence. For example, we have P in here. So unending sequence will look like P1, P2, P3, P4. It will keep on going. That is known as an infinite sequence. Okay, in terms we are using MR here, so the sum of the series would be M1 plus M2 plus M3, it will be keep on going. So that would be considered as infinite series. If it ends, then we can say it is a finite series. Here the order of the sequence matter, we know that. So you have to consider the order, for example, sequence 5, 6, 7 cannot be same as 765. These two are completely different because the order of this sequence is different from the order of this sequence. Hope you understand the difference. However, in case of series, 5 plus 6 plus 7 is same as 7 plus 6 plus 5. Hope you are clear about the difference between these two terms, series and sequence now. In case if you have any query on this topic, kindly post your questions in the comment section. Yeah, I'm waiting for your valuable feedback. See you in the next video. Have a great time ahead.